the the boys and damn man uh, probably out of everything we've talked about i think i'm mostly invested in this show this has been a damn good show these first three episodes was great um man. i want to get sharonda and larry's opinion let me just first say that this new chick that they got up there stormfront it, 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 it's like it's like they took the powers of thor gave them to her minus the damn hammer and she is all girl power she is really kicking Homelander's ass in essence because y'all know he wants to be the front man, the hype man, and legitimately, what? oh yeah, oh yeah, she's kicking no, home. Man, she is she is a she is a, a nasty white supremacist. I mean, she her is, character is based off of the it was a guy in the comics, right? That, right. The whole get surround just break down the whole first three episodes, how you feel about it. Dive on into it. <laughs> Look at this guy. What happened in the third episode? And the, you didn't see the third episode? I've seen the whole season, so that's why you gotta tell me what happened. Oh, to the third oh man. Okay, okay. I'm I'm see, 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 she gets she get all the exclusive <laughs> access. Oh Lord, and this is her. And then she tried to do it on the low though. She, 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 I, was like, <laughs> I don't want to spoil that. But that's why I was like, oh, yeah. man. So, so, third, no. third, third episode is when Stormfront killed um the asian girl's brother and they okay. ran through they ran through the deeps well buddy and um she made homelander look like he had egg on his face because she got in front of the microphone took his shine and that's what that's how it ended episode three okay yeah all right so the first three episodes i think they did a great job i mean it's good because you never thought that you would hate someone more than you hate Homelander. And then Stormfront is like, hey, hold my beer because I got this. Like, mm -hmm. and the way that when you, because at first you think she's just like, oh, she's just going against the grain. Like, she just, yeah, has corporate lingo. She's mm -hmm. gonna do her own thing. So I yep. thought she was gonna bring some positive change. Yes. And then Start saying that she started killing all the people in the like lower income housing complex. I was like, ma'am, like they weren't even fighting you. What are we doing? And when we get to her brother, I was just like, wow. So you like a racist Karen? You like Karen? Karen? Mm -hmm. I was yeah, like, she snapped that. She killed him and then called him a yellow bastard. Yes. Snapped his, snapped his like, wrist yes. off. But what yeah. was what got me was why the hell. Did she have to throw the black people through the through the building? So that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what was sending me because I was just like, girl, like they were nowhere near like you didn't have to touch them. So I was just really confused the whole time. Why are we killing all these black people right now? But when we got to that part, I was just like, Well, I mean, she ain't no different than the police. I mean, if we're nah. gonna be honest about it, and nah. I think that's what makes the boys so good, is because this you can totally look at this as a metaphor like these people are supposed to serve and protect the world from these threats these super terrorists from the bad guys and they're out here doing some shady stuff and the government is just cleaning it up mm. yeah larry it's on you i mean as soon as i saw her name stormfront i was like yeah she's a racist i was like because stormfront <laughs> is the name of that, that neo-nazi website and then she's up there just killing the black people for no reason and then she couldn't then she killed dude and calls him a yellow bastard i was like yeah she's a racist you know i'm still trying to figure out what they've been feeding starlight because i just oh, don't remember no. her having all that bumper in, in in the back last season and i know they talked about it because i know stormfront mentioned something about her and her uniform being all extra this year but i just don't remember she i, I just don't remember all that and so but they've really just, I mean, I, I know you've seen the whole season, but what's her name that's like sort of the spinoff of Wonder Woman? They haven't like given her any real time in like the first three episodes. So I don't know what, gonna, what they have planned for her. Yeah. Well, what's her name again? Queen what? I think it's Maven. Maven. Maven, Maven right. Something child. It's something with an M. It's something with yeah. an M. Uh, and, and she's the one that's got the powers like Wonder Woman, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if they're gonna make us have to feel some sort of way about about Homelander because they're gonna if if right. you end up where you have this fight between a, a a fascist white supremacist and then Homelander who is just a dick, you know. You know, I mean, who, you know who Homelander reminds me of, Larry. If you take Donald Trump and mesh him with Mike Pence and make him a superhero, 
the the first three episodes, that's who I thought of when I thought of Homelander. I was really? like, you, yeah, yeah, I was, I hate him. I hated him. And I was actually mm. rooting for Stormfront up until the very last, well, me and you've only seen the first three. So I was rooting for her until she went in there and killed the black people. She went in there and killed the um the Oriental guy. And then she started implementing her dominance. Because I really want someone to whip Storm, I mean, Homelander's ass. But that went out the window at the end of episode three. I'll tell you, these writers need to be careful before them Scientologists come after them, you know, with their little <laughs> spinoffs of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> poking fun at their church. They, them Scientologists don't play, boy. Hey, look, they're gonna man. Come, they're going to come after him. <laughs> they, had, they had to do something with the deep, poor fella. He, can, he's, he's, he looks Ooh. at his body with shame. And did y'all notice how Homelander kept poking fun of his gills? He didn't even poke fun of him. He said, he looked, he said, your uniform's ripped. He said, cover that up. I can see your gills. That's gross. And you can see the conflict in, in the deep at the time because he had just gone through this where he was trying to get to terms with his own body. And then he was like, now Homelander's telling him that stuff is gross. And you can see the conflict where he's like, well, what do I do? Do I accept myself or do I try and be a part of the seven? So, you know. I want to do better with the deep and A Train storylines. I just don't feel like they give them enough in the show. Well, speaking of them, what about yeah. Black and the Wire? <laughs> Who? <laughs> the guy that wear all black, he looked like Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Oh, okay. He's a black dude underneath the black noir. Yeah. They don't give him any screen time. I thought you said black noir. I said who's black noir? <laughs> <laughs> now, here's one thing if you guys haven't noticed is that Mother's Milk t shirt game is on point. Yeah, yeah. If he be look, having, yeah. Yeah, dude's yeah. shirts are on fire every episode. Yeah. Wait, who? Mother's, uh, milk. mother's milk. The black dude, the black dude that's with Butcher and the crew. Yeah. Oh, Liza, Liza. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Why they really? So, they but he had that retro BDP shirt on. His 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 oh, his Black Panther food program. He be fresh. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do better by those characters because I just don't feel like it's one of those things when you have a show that has way too many people on it because yeah. You have all the suits like a part of the seven and then you have everyone that's a part of the boys it's just hard to really delve yeah. into like these different characters so that's like my one critique of season two i wish they would have done that because it's hard especially when you're introducing new characters on top of that it's just a little hard to balance the screen time no i agree because they all when they're on screen they all seem like they're very important in that moment and i mm -hmm. wish they all had more time so that we can get to know them and I, I mean, some of these cable shows, I know they run like 10 episodes, 8 episodes, sometimes 12. I really feel like this is one of those shows that could have been a full, like, network TV season, a full 22, 24 episodes, and yeah. we would have been fine with it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because you, you would have had the opportunity to flesh out more of the stories, get even a little deeper into each character. But did in, in episode three, now Sharonda, you know, I'm trying to take her back to understand the moment we're in. Since she has seen the whole season already. Yeah. Now, you know? she knows what I'm about to say. <laughs> One of those special Negroes. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, and Larry, and Larry, get this. She ain't even light-skinned, Larry. She getting special privileges. I know. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Put, 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 put us dark-skinned brothers on. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, who's a, who'd you give a massage? Harvey Weinstein? You know, <laughs> I hope not. Damn, I hope, I hope not too. Not. I hope no. not too. But anyway, yeah. did you did you notice how something was wrong with A Train? He was going dizzy, and Larry, I'm kind of speaking to you, but Sharon at the same time. Is there something that's going on with Compound V that could be, you know, um, a side effect that they didn't warn people about? Um, is there something that could be a snafu in their powers? Um, Highlight that for us, Sharonda, from just from what you saw in episode three. <laughs> no spoilers. She can't even do it. She's like, my mind's too, it's too built, it's too blended <laughs> okay. together because I've seen it all. I, 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 would just, I would just tell y'all, I, I wouldn't look that deep into that. Okay, never mind. Well, Larry, don't need to answer that question. Um, last right. thing I want to know, 
Um, the relationship between Huey and Starlight. Are either one of y'all feeling that relationship? Do y'all feel like that's a good part of this story? <laughs> I'm more interested in the French dude in in, in the, in the right. Asian super that's, chick. That's, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I mean, you know what? I want them to be together, but it's right. just like, I, there's just more people that I care about than their characters. So I'm just like, yeah. This one thing I'm curious about her is how did that how did she go from being like caged up and 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 basically a prisoner to all of a sudden now she's got her eyebrows done, her skin looks all nice and refreshed, like she's been using some, you know, some oil of ale, oil of oil of lay or something. I mean, she looks like she's like straight on point. How'd that happen so quickly? She's a superhero. Okay. Then so how'd she ever get bad? They probably been trying to help her like be it kind of negro like hey we're all wanted now so you need to look a little bit normal because you're definitely gonna throw this off maybe maybe yeah. so i am so, curious to see what's gonna happen with with uh with those two and i'm curious to see what's gonna happen with uh with little dude that looked like little bright burn baby you know uh <laughs> what, the, i forgot the the boy's name. I, don't know, nobody, I know who you talked about the yeah son. yeah man because he it looked like he was about to give it to Homelander when he pushed his mama. Oh, he said, "Y'all saw when he pushed him off the the roof." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We saw that. We saw yeah. that, and we and we saw Homelander um get into it with his mother, and Homeboy pushed Homelander to the ground, and his eyes turned red on. Her. I was about to say, he was, like, he was like, square up right now." Yeah, he did. I'm sick of you. Square up, because then nobody invites you. We didn't tell you to come here. We were running our own business. What are you doing? So, yeah, so, he was really, he was about to, he was like, you know, first he was like, I don't want to be this, I don't do, but man, when he touched his mom, he was like, he was like, he was about that business, you know, he was about, that he was about to give it to him, so, yeah, that's, that might be a fun story to see, I have a, I mean, I don't know what, Sharon has already seen it, so, uh, but whatever, <laughs> I think that, I think they might save a large part of that kid's story for the for season three. I think they obviously I think they may play it, but I think we might see a lot of him in season three. Well, they're I also mean, introducing the new character. They're introducing the Captain America character in season three. Oh, so, are they really? Okay. Yeah. The first mm -hmm. suit from Comp Compound V. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you you knew sooner or later that Compound V thing was going to start making the rounds putting more superheroes out there on the streets, Larry. You knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of how are they going to let that story play out. And so I'll I'll finish this. I'll table this discussion with this. Sharonda, have you seen the whole thing? So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the best, how satisfied were you with this whole this whole season? I'll give the season an eight. Okay. I think, I think that they do a really great job of with Stormfront. And taking because you you hate Homelander so much you just don't think that there's anyone worse than her. And I really yeah. like what they do with her storyline. Just my main issue with the boys is always there's we don't focus on the diverse characters that much. A lot of the supporting characters they're kind of just brushed into the wayside, and mm -hmm. that's just that's the main problem that I have because I think the boys are some of the most interesting characters, even more so than the suits, and we mm -hmm. don't. Enough time with them, like delving deeper into their backstories. Mm. Okay. And and Larry, so far from what you've seen, what do you hope to see going forward for the next couple of episodes? And Sharana, how many episodes is this? Eight or ten? Eight. Damn. So Larry, what do you want to see going forward based on the first three? I kind of want to see. I could. Somebody mentioned in the comments that it says they think Huey's going to drink some of uh, some of that compound V. And I kind of want to see a regular person take some compound V and see what happens to them and, and see if they're going to end up becoming like a, you know, a super, a super, you know, in defense of everybody else and see what goes down with that. And because it could be really interesting if that happens. I don't know if it is going to happen. Sharonda could tell us, but, you know, whatever, you know, and uh, <laughs> but I'm curious to see if, if, if start regular people end up getting some compound V and taking it and, and mm -hmm. what happens with it. So, it is eight oh, go ahead. Uh -huh. Sharon, I'm sorry. Eight episodes. It is eight episodes. Eight. Damn. I would like to see the the boys 
and regular people figure out a way to hurt the suits. I want there to be some kind of a weapon, some kind of a kryptonite. I want them to be a way that they can punish the suits when they need to without having to become superheroes themselves. And I want them to continue to delve into some other people's storylines besides just the superheroes. I want them to delve a little bit more into some of the boys' backgrounds, but I also want to see somebody come up with something that can just hurt the superheroes going for it. Maybe I have to wait the next season for that. Go ahead. I, I think there has to already be something because what's his name? Uh, Giancarlo Esposito, his character. Man. He Man. is so calm when, like, when when yeah. Homelander came up through there, dude was just so calm. Right, like it was yeah. almost like he was just saying, "You little boy, if you don't step up out of here, I'm gonna right. have somebody give you the antidote and turn you regular." Now, you Larry, know, it was me, almost like he had that vibe on him. I had that vibe from him too, as if he's a superhero or the the Godfather of all superheroes somehow, some way, and because you know anybody who has Superman's powers. You ain't just going to say what you want to say the way he said it. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe he's got either some power or he's got a button and there's a chip in Homelander's head that he can press and blow him up or something. It's something. Yeah, it's so. going to be interesting to see how that plays out. We'll see yeah. how it goes. Sharonda yeah. could tell us if she wanted to. Yeah, she's Sharonda's one of those privileged Negroes. <laughs> you know, so, some of us don't get she's the special. privilege. Yeah, she's special. <laughs> you know, her teeth whiter than ours and shit. You know, so, <laughs> I can't. Yeah. She's worried about. She's worried about all these little, uh, all these mocha laka mixed chicks up in here, and she's up here special. You know, very, very much so. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, she's so special. You need to subscribe to her channel. Her link is in the video description. First lady of reviewing movies and TV shows. Really hard job. Subscribe to OG Larry's channel. His link in the description. Of course, subscribe to mine. That's going to do it for this show, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to go show Saranda some support so she can keep coming back and antagonizing and terrorizing the hell out of Larry. That's why he's losing the hair, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. But Saranda be pulling that whip out on him. Tile, tile, tile. Don't forget to like our videos. <laughs> Comment, subscribe until Wednesday when we go live with E-Man. Wakanda forever too, y'all. Wakanda forever, go. my sister Sharonda. I almost forgot.